Let's look at example three on the same page, solve irrational equations and inequalities. So step one, we're going to set it up. We don't have to look at the side with only one number or one fraction. We're just setting up the side with um, either adding or subtracting the fractions. So a and five a's least common multiple would be five a. So we, ha we could just leave the second fraction alone and the first one we can multiply by five on both the top and the bottom to get our common denominator. So once we go ahead and distribute the five and write those out we should get this. So we're done with step one. Step two we're going to distribute and combine like terms. There's no negative sign, so there's no distributing. And then combining like terms, we have 5a plus a, 6a is 11a. And then negative 30 plus negative 12 is negative 42. And then the two denominators become one thing, just 5a. And then that equals 5. So we're done with the second step. Step three, we're going to cross multiply. Since the five is by itself, we could put a one in the denominator. Go ahead and cross multiply those. See what you get. Okay, you should get 25a equals 11a minus 42. So we're done with step three. Now we're going to move everything to one side of the equation. Let's move everything over to the left side. So go ahead and subtract 11a from both sides of the equal sign. So then we get 14a equals negative 42. Well let's add 42 to both sides now. We can add a's and constants together, so we just write it out like this. 14 plus 14a plus 42 equals 0. So we're done with that step. Okay, step 5, you're going to factor out everything you can. It looks like both of these numbers, both uh, 14 goes into both of those. So if we factor out 14, what we have left over inside is 1a plus 3 equals 0. So now we're done with that. Okay, step 6, we're going to solve. Well, 14 is never equal to 0, so there's no solution here. So we're just going to have a plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 on both sides of the equal sign. So you have a equals negative 3. So we're done with that step. Okay, our last step, step 7, we're going to check for extraneous solutions. So we're going to go ahead and substitute wherever we see an A in the original. We're going to plug in negative 3 instead to get something that will look like this. We have is 5 equal to negative 3 minus 6 all over negative 3 plus 6 times negative 3 minus 12 all over 5 times negative 3. So if you multiply all that out, you should get is 5 equal to negative 9 divided by negative 3 plus negative 18 minus 12 all over negative 15. Okay, if you could buy like terms, we have is 5 equal to 3 plus negative 30 over negative 15. 
A negative 30 divided by negative 15 is a positive 2. So now we have is 5 equal to 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. So yes, that works. That is a real solution. So our only solution is A equals negative 3. So now we're done with step 7. And we can go on to the next example.